had security try and stop me from Funko Pop hunting. What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler, and today I had went on a Funko Pop Hunt, but like I had mentioned, I ran into a little bit of trouble, but here's some footage I filmed before I'll explain the story behind what had happened today. Alright, so we have made it to the mall, and there's actually two stores that sells Funko Pops that are across from each other. First one beside me is Dollarama, and then the other is Winners. There's the logo right there, and we're gonna go into both of these and see if they have Funko Pops. So the only thing I've actually been able to find Funko related at this Dollarama is the Popsies, which you actually don't see these much in Canada besides at Dollarama now, which it only costs five dollars, which basically you press this button and then a message pops up on the top of the head which says shine like the bat signal. Popsies are basically like an oversized greeting card in case you didn't know what they were. And now we're inside of Winners and I do notice some Funko Pops here, which we got ourselves the Thor comic covers that's normally a specialty series exclusive, ET in disguise, I do see a Mandalorian pop back there, but I also did notice right here the WinterCon 2022 exclusive Spider-Man, which is pretty decent, and you can definitely tell why this isn't selling, considering that there is tape all across the box, probably because the window is pretty dented. Funko Pop hunting at a different mall than I usually go to. And that is mainly because at the same time I was filming this Funko Pop hunt, I was filming last week's San Diego Comic Con Funko Pop hunt. So I thought I would simultaneously film Funko Pop hunts to save me some days of filming and editing content. And once I got on the escalator and basically was filming the front of, I believe it was Showcase and the GameStop, a security guard came up to me and said, hey, what are you doing? And I said, I'm a YouTube content creator. And I was basically gonna say I show off different malls across Canada, which I mean, of course, that's not what this channel is about, but just a way for her to kind of understand what I was doing. And this guard was basically saying like, oh, you're not allowed to take pictures or film videos or we'll have to kick you off of the premises. But with my cell phone that I had here, I did manage to film what claims to be 1080p, but most likely was 720 or below of videos and taking pictures of exactly what I saw in those stores. So let me explain to you guys what actually happened during this pop one. So when I went inside of the GameStop, there wasn't really anything exciting to be honest. It's kind of like a lot of the stuff that I would have shown you guys even in last week's video. And of course, because I filmed this pop one the same day I was filming the San Diego Comic Con pop one, they did have some of the exclusives. However, I was looking at some of them, including the Kermit, which looked all right at first, but then when I flipped it over, the back of the box was completely mangled, which sucked because, of course, I had to pick up that Kermit pop for MD Shady since he was working, and that's usually how it works. And then he also wanted the Elmo, which looked all right, but it looked like the Elmo was trying to escape the box, not only from the store, but maybe because of that security guard also. And then across the way was Showcase, the store where it's basically as seen on TV products, but they do have Funko Pop. And if you've ever been to a Showcase before, you normally know that they have really overpriced Funko Bob. Especially the fact that I actually seen what normally was the original Target exclusive Pikachu that released in 2018, but it was re-released selling at $40 Canadian at retail, which is absolutely ridiculous to sell that pop back considering that guarantee you could probably buy that in the secondary market for much cheaper and with the Target exclusive sticker nowadays. Beside that was Sunrise Records which was the Canadian equivalent to of course FYE and they didn't really have much Funko Pops either considering they're actually on their way out of the game soon. The only great pop they probably had was the San Diego Comic Con 2023 exclusive Wicked with Slingshot from Return of the Jedi and other than that then maybe there was was also FYE exclusive Dragon Ball Z Pops, and then there was also the WonderCon 2023 exclusive Poison Ivy from the Batman lineup. Other than that, it's just Pops that they're trying to clear out that no one really wants to buy. And then I went into the Walmart that's in this specific mall, mainly because I haven't been in this Walmart in a while, and I thought because Walmart was supposedly getting some of those San Diego Comic-Con exclusives that maybe this one got them in. But of course I was wrong, and I 
seen this shelf realistically of just scattered random common pops that no one really wants to buy for $16.96 or whatever the price pops go for nowadays, which you could probably see in that photo that they once again still somehow had more Claude Giroux Philadelphia Flyers pops. It's not like my local Walmart has about eight of them already. And the only new thing that I did notice was actually the set of DC Comics Biddy Pops. So at least they're stocking in some new stuff, but nothing really interesting in my opinion. However, while I was Funko Pop hunting, I did obtain some things which I'm going to show you, including which I did mention on that San Diego Comic-Con Pop Hunt last week of some items that weren't San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that I was going to show you guys in this specific video because, of course, I wasn't able to do a full-on Pop Hunt video thanks to that security guard. So the first pop I'm actually going to show you guys is one I ended up obtaining while inside of that mall with the security guard in it. And that was in a store called Showtime. It's basically a sports store and they have a lot of sports memorabilia and autographed items, but they also do sell Funko Pops. A pop of the Canadian exclusive Mitch Marner from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, normally I don't collect the Toronto Maple Leafs pops because I am a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. Actually, there is a hat right there. You can see a Pittsburgh Penguins. I actually bought this for my dad as a very late Father's Day gift. So here is the side profile. There is the other side. And then there's the back where no pops are there. And I know I'm late for that. But of course, if you guys have been following the channel, you guys know that in early June or throughout the month of June, I was on a pro wrestling tour and I didn't end up seeing my dad for Father's Day because I was gone. So now that I'm back home the last couple of weeks, I finally be able to figure out what I'm going to get him for Father's Day. And he's a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs, so he'll enjoy this pop very much. Now I'm going to show you guys the non-SDCC stuff I got from Hot Topic, and the first pop I'm going to show you guys is the new Ozzy Osbourne, which is basically mid to late 1980s version with the way that his hair is and the attire, which is really awesome. Number 404 in the Pop Rocks lineup, that really awesome Ozzy Osbourne logo. There is the pop art form, and there is a closer view in box of what he looks like. It's kind of hard to really see, but he does have some nice details in terms of the tattoo tattoos on his chest. There's the side profile for one side, the side profile for the other, and then on the back it shows no other Ozzy Osbournes for the lineup besides what you got here, which I guess there is a better closer view right there. Let me cover my face there so you can actually see the pop art form of that pop. And it's funny enough, this logo that's on the back of this box, I actually have a shirt with that exact same logo. So it's kind of cool that I actually have the shirt that goes along with this pop realistically. And the next pop I'm gonna show you guys is going to MD. He asked me to pick this up while I was out Funko Pop hunting. And that is the Hot Topic exclusive Mocking Spongebob from, of course, the 25th anniversary Spongebob lineup. Hot Topic sticker number 1672 in the pop animation lineup. And there is that face of Mocking Spongebob, which looks absolutely hilarious. Actually, let's do the side view like this so that we can actually see what Spongebob looks like when he's doing that pose. That's actually pretty crazy. And the fact that this actually can stand up straight without really even needing a stand unless, does this have a stand? No, it doesn't have a stand. Because I noticed in one of Top Pop's videos that he actually was able to stand this properly without a stand. So that's pretty awesome. And then there is the other side profile of the box. And then on the back, it does show the wave that this is involved with and that SpongeBob 25th anniversary logo. So we got ourselves, I believe, Rip Pants SpongeBob, the Krusty Krab Pizza SpongeBob, Fry Cook Games Patrick, the Caveman or SpongeGar SpongeBob, Doodle Bob, and then I believe that is the Glove World SpongeBob, which a couple of these we did see while we were at Hot Topic uh, in the other Pop Hunt video. So it is really cool that I was able to pick this one up for MD, and I know he was excited when I told him I was able to pick this up for him. And then the last pop I'm going to be showing you guys is a pop that I didn't even think was going to be on the shelf because I thought it was very super popular to where it would sell out, and it is also a Hot Topic exclusive, and that is the Kermit and Constantine 2-pack from the Muppets, which is really awesome. Kermit and Constantine Disney logo with the pop art forms on the front. Let's take a closer look at that Kermit pop, which I actually really like this molding more than the pop that's featured in the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And then of course you have Constantine. This makes sense because of the whole like meme that's been going around for so long at this point. Let's check out the one side profile where it shows Constantine. And then you got the other side profile that features Kermit right there. You can kind of see it a little bit through the ends right there of what they look like. And then on the back, 
once again, there's no pops in the wave as terms to what's being shown off in the back, besides the two pops featured being Kermit and Constantine, which is absolutely really awesome to see. And I really debated on getting myself one of these, but I did get some hot cash while getting the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops and of course these Pops while San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop hunting. So in around September, I believe, we'll be able to redeem hot cash and then most likely we'll be doing a hot cash Funko Pop hunt when those hot casts are able to be used. Anyways, that's the end of today's video that was sabotaged by security guards. And if you enjoyed this pop hunt, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below about your opinion of this whole situation with the security guard and what pops maybe should I have picked up. And I hope to see you guys in the next video on the channel. One, two, three, I'm out of here.